on. Steven, uh, it's, it's out now. <laughs> you finally can talk about it. First of all, great job in the episode tonight. Really great uh, thanks job. Thanks very much. Um, Thank you. Have you been in hiding since episode three aired, basically? <laughs> Um, I have not been out uh, much. Um, I frequent uh, a lot of takeout, and um, my apartment looks like a hoarder's house. So it's good. Well, I was worried because after the episode where we weren't sure what happened to you, you texted me and you go, hey, thanks for the nice words. And I was like, okay, if you're dead, just know that you've done an amazing job and people love you and you're the best and you're a good dude. And then you just wrote back, you look, you go, appreciate it. And I'm like, oh no. Because you, obviously you couldn't say anything to anybody about anything. So yeah. how, do you, how do you feel now? Um, I feel relieved. Um, I feel um, very grateful. Uh, I feel so amazed at the response. So, I mean, uh, I feel bad that I couldn't say anything to, you know, everyone and uh, family and friends. I'm pretty sure I lost some <laughs> friendships <laughs> along the way. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of been overwhelming. I didn't even know how to really take it all. Well, what do you think it symbolizes that Glenn survived this ordeal? Uh, um, I think it, you know, I think it proves that this world still can take um, that tr story of the good guy winning sometimes, you yeah. know? Uh, I really like the fact that it's not this, you know, bent of uh, always seeking out something miserable happening on television or something terrible and sulking on that and rather just really accepting the fact that sometimes good guys survive. Yeah, I mean...